from the universe and galaxies that surround us or rays of the sun that give light and warmth or the magical composition of the earth's atmosphere that sustains life on our planet in fact even the building blocks of the human body the elements of oxygen carbon hydrogen nitrogen all fall under the fascinating field of chemistry is the utilization of natural substances and the creation of artificial ones using chemical compounds so it's everywhere around us from the solar panels that power green energy the computer chips that help run modern day machines to the pharmaceutical industry that helps us fight infections and diseases the scope for novel chemical compounds is growing and so is the research associated with the exploration and identification of these chemicals Our day-to-day -day requirement is met by numerous products which are based on certain specific chemical formulations. Be it the toothpaste we use early morning to the medicines and drugs we take when we are sick. All have specific chemical formulations in them. The scope for novel chemical compounds is growing day by day. and so is the research associated with exploration and identification of these chemicals the indian institute of chemical technology located in the capital city of telangana hyderabad is an avant-garde research institute that specializes in chemical sciences and technology Set up in 1944, it is one of the oldest research institutes of the country. Our vision is to serve the society by creating outstanding knowledge base in chemistry and chemical technology. This was uh, originally established in the year 1944 by Nizam's government at that time, and uh, just before uh, independence. In the 1956, again, this is uh, our institute is renamed as a Regional Research Laboratory, Hyderabad. This is probably one of the first uh, RRL created in our country. Again, in the year 1989, our institute uh, renamed with the present uh, name that is IICT, the Indian Institute of Chemical Technology. We are in the service of uh, almost eight decades for the nation through chemistry and chemical technologies. the state of the art facilities and a consistent focus on developing innovative solutions to national and global needs in the areas of drug discovery agrochemicals catalysis material sciences and environmental science makes iict as the foremost chemical research institute in the entire country iict is located in the very city of hyderabad hyderabad is also called uh, a pharma capital of world so basically many drugs are being synthesized here in uh, and exported to various countries and in coming back to our iict facilities we have excellent uh, infrastructure the trained manpower and particularly infrastructure if you look at uh, analytical facility we have nmr and we have x ray and we have uh, excellent mass spectroscopic facilities we have and uh, in the in the lab experimental lab we have starting from uh, milligram scale to we can make up we can go up to kilo level then commercialize and we also have uh, mole bank where we store the compounds what we synthesize in our laboratory and also we get procure from outside uh, laboratories outside uh, institute also we'll get and we store these molecules we use those chemicals that molecules what we stored in mole bank and screen for various diseases we also have another fantastic facility we have animal facility where we can test some of the molecule what we synthesized in our laboratory organic synthesis and process chemistry 
The institute has pioneered and developed a cost-effective and scalable process for the synthesis of TLR 7x8 agonist molecule used as an adjuvant in Covaxin for the COVID-19 vaccine and transferred it to Bharat Biotech International Limited, which is being produced in kilogram scale. Therefore, CSIR IICT played a very significant role in saving millions lives during the SARS-CoV-2 pandemic due to the development of the indigenous co-vaccine by Bharat Biotech. Our department uh, played a key role during pandemic situation when whole world and our country is locked down and our department and particularly this lab is open 24 by 7 where our students are staying here in three shifts they are working and our department uh, played a key role in developing a process within a uh, three months of time we made few hundred grams first later we scaled up to 100 gram and later we scaled up to kilogram scale where we could avoid all the metal mediated reactions we also made a process chromatographic free and with our process we transferred them sometime in September later the entire process has been transferred in December to Bharat Biotech and with that uh, scale they could make in kilogram scale and they could launch the product in January vaccine into the market and we are proud to be part of this uh, project. In addition to carrying out state-of-the-art research, IICT Hyderabad also caters to the scientific human resource needs of the country in the areas of chemical technology. It offers prestigious academic programs at PhD and postdoctorate level where budding scientists learn the most advanced techniques of the science of chemicals. Besides, the institute plays a crucial and significant role in special scenarios such as the recent COVID-19 pandemic by leveraging its ability to create and design novel molecules which have inevitable and indispensable roles to address the emerging challenges in the areas such as health, environment and agriculture. Being a premier research institute of CSIR or Center for Scientific and Industrial Research under the Ministry of Science and Technology, Government of India, IICT is active in research and development in cutting-edge areas of chemical sciences. It has state-of-the-art research departments which carry the vision of an Atmanirbhar Bharat in chemical sciences. In the Department of Analytical and Structural Chemistry, the structure and shape of molecules are explored and revealed. It acts as a consortium of specialized center for mass spectroscopy, NMR, chromatography, thermal analysis and other state-of-art analytical equipment. The department caters to the analytical needs of the industry academia and the government institutes across the country. The department also offers various national and international skill development courses in the area of analytical chemistry. The department has a consortium of four centers, Center for Mass Spectrometry, Center for NMR, Center for X-ray, Chromatography, that also includes elemental analysis, thermal analysis. So each uh, center has its own uh, state of art analytical equipment, high throughput technologies to cater small molecules, medium molecules, even large molecules like proteins, DNA molecules and also synthetic polymers. In the Department of Applied Biology, biological research is carried out in healthcare sector to address various healthcare issues such as diseases. The department is fully equipped to study the efficacy of various diagnostic methods developed by other departments or institutes. In Applied Biology Department, we are supporting this particular theme of healthcare by taking a collaborative approach with the medicinal chemist. While the chemists are synthesizing the compounds in the Applied Biology, we screen these compounds. They are called the new chemical entities in the in vitro systems by using enzyme systems or cell line based systems and identify the potent compounds. 
Now these potent compounds need to be tested in a some system, animal system, to see the proof of concept. The Catalysis and Fine Chemicals Department carries out high-end research to design advanced catalysts which have positive societal and industrial application. Here cross-cutting R&D takes place to search greener strategies for chemical synthesis and production. Energy and Environmental Engineering Department where innovative and sustainable solutions are developed in the field of energy and environment. The department works in the area of waste treatment, fossil fuel alternatives such as energy from biomass and other green energy options. We have developed technology for the generation of biogas and biomanure from organic solid waste generated in municipal corporations, market yards, restaurants and other places. So that is one technology. And as regarding liquid waste actually, we have developed technology for like you know anaerobic wastewater treatment from emanating from distilleries and other organic effluents emanating from industry. And apart from that we have also developed technologies for uh, industrial wastewater treatments, the wastewater is coming from chemical and bulk drug industry. And thirdly, we have developed like you know gaseous emission coming from industry which is causing odor and health issues. We have developed technologies for uh, this domain also, we have developed technology called biofilter. The key achievements are, we have developed anaerobic gas lift reactor for the generation of biogas and biomanure from organic solid waste. The Center for Lipid Science and Technology of CSIR, IICT is recognized nationally and internationally as Center for Excellence in the area of lipid research. Here the thrust is on innovating newer processing techniques for vegetable oils, biolubricants, biodiesel and food derivatives. One among major missions is also to innovate new processing methodologies for vegetable oils. CSIR has designated this center as center of excellence for lipid research. Besides, the center also acts as a national testing facility for lipids and fats. Food Safety and Standard Authority of India has recognized Center for Lipid Science and Technology of IICT as National Referral Laboratory for Oils and Fats. We are the second largest producer of paddy and rice bran oil is an indigenous oil. Most of these oils were going for soap making, though it has nutritional um, components and also the fatty acid composition is very near to the WHO recommendation. So we thought of making it edible. So we started working on that and we found that degumming process is not there. So we developed one enzyme based uh, degumming process. The process we developed at the scale of 50 tons per day and most of the edible rice bran oil you get in the market nowadays are produced through our process. Department of Natural Products and Medicinal Chemistry. This center is involved with acquiring knowledge of prevailing traditional practices and validating this knowledge. The research involves isolation of bioactive compounds and then evaluating their efficacies for the treatment of diseases. The aim is to provide the scientific basis hidden in Indian traditional medicines. Fluoro agrochemicals, where knowledge and techniques for development of sustainable agricultural practices takes place. Incorporation of fluorine into organic molecules and other chemical compounds makes them flexible and changes their properties. Fluorochemicals are versatile chemicals with application in pharmaceuticals, agriculture, anesthetics, refrigeration and air conditioning cleaning agents, solvents, propellants, paints, etc. India depends on countries like China for its fluorochemical supplies. The Center for Fluoro Agrochemicals strives hard to design and innovate new methods and processes for producing various fluorochemical compounds which have vast applications in industry, 
agriculture and other socio-economic sectors. This department has got uh, a very high credentials in developing R&D process technologies for market-driven agrochemicals. It enjoyed high visibility through its R&D capabilities. No doubt IACT has involved in the welfare of society through its scientific interventions to develop process technologies that led to the self-sufficiency of food, especially in the Green Revolution era. This department has developed a very high profile uh, agrochemicals products. They made high impact in the Indian agrochemical industry. In the past IACT, this agrochemical department has developed market driven products like monocrotophos, chloropyrifos, s rate, glyphosate, thiophenate methyl and innumerable compounds and they have been licensed to Indian industry to cater the needs of the farmers. Insect pheromones are another area where this center is proving its metal. For the last several years, the center is actively involved in synthesis of pheromone active ingredients with special focus on their isolation, identification, characterization and formulation. We are working on insect sex pheromones to control the pest for pest monitoring as well as mass trapping to minimize the usage of pesticides mainly, pesticide spray. So to reduce the pesticide spray, to improve the quality of the product and also yield to help the farmer. This is uh, our attempts towards uh, sustainable agriculture. It's very useful to protect the farmer's health, not only health of the farmer, even environment, water pollution, soil pollution and all the environment we can uh, protect by using pheromones towards orga organic farming. Polymers and Functional Materials Department. This center is engaged in cutting-edge fundamental and applied research in the area of polymers, nanomaterials and energy storage devices, etc. The core competencies of this center include research, modeling, design, synthesis, analysis and performance testing to generate new materials and ideas, devices and technical problem solving capabilities related to production and use of functional materials. We have been able to develop and showcase a lot of our products are at the industrial production and in mainly the energy devices and materials what we are making that is the futuristic technology and that place we have been able to develop very good dyes the electrolytes whole conductors a small organic molecules and which is being used for the manufacture of dyes and dye solar cell organic solar cells and other photovoltaic devices Identification and precise structural determination of molecules are pivotal for developing new products with desired functions. This is carried out by highly qualified and experienced scientists and engineers of CSIR, IICT who use state-of-the-art facilities and infrastructure. Some notable facilities which are available at CSIR, IICT include Mass Spectroscopy Center This is a centralized facility of the institute which has most advanced mass spectrometers. These highly advanced mass spectrometers not only provide molecular weight information about any chemical or element but also its structure, composition and other physical features. Gas Chromatography Volatile compounds such as gases, amino acids, environmental toxins and those chemicals which turn into gaseous form at normal room temperature can be analyzed using gas chromatography coupled with mass spectrometer. Liquid chromatography mass spectrometer Liquid chromatography mass spectrometer is used for the analysis of non-volatile chemicals such as chemicals obtained from natural products and herbs. Human and plant metabolites, synthetic organic molecules, agrochemicals, proteins, etc. High resolution mass spectrometers. CSIR IICT houses different types of sophisticated mass spectrometers such as LC high resolution mass spectrometers, LC quadruple orbit trap mass spectrometer. 
Similarly, the institute is equipped with NMR spectroscopy, X-ray refraction, thermal and surface analysis and other advanced analytical techniques which help in chemical and physical analysis of chemical and compounds in the country. CSIR IICT has made significant contributions in the field of chemical sciences and technology. Some of the key contributions include drug development. One of the important themes of CSIR Indian Institute of Chemical Technology Hyderabad is healthcare. The Department of Applied Biology is involved in basic and translational research areas related to cancer cardiovascular and metabolic disorders, neurobiology and inflammation. This department also caters to the needs of the private stakeholders in the above areas. IICT has made significant contributions to the development of drugs for the treatment of diseases such as tuberculosis, Alzheimer's and cancer. Catalysis and Chemical Synthesis IICT is known for its contributions in the areas of catalysis and chemical synthesis. The institute has developed several new chemical reactions and catalysts that have applications in the pharmaceutical, petrochemical and agrochemical industries. Chemical Process Development IICT has also made significant contributions to the development of chemical processes that are more efficient and sustainable. The institute has developed processes for the production of several important chemicals including 2-ethylhexanol, a key ingredient in the production of plasticizers. Renewable Energy IICT has been working on the development of renewable energy technologies such as solar cells and biofuels. The institute has developed new materials and processes for the production of solar cells that are more efficient and cost effective. Waste Management IICT has also contributed to the development of technologies for waste management. The institute has developed processes for the treatment of industrial waste and wastewater that are more effective and environmentally friendly. Recently, we are uh, going with a demonstration of hydrogen production process. I would like to say green hydrogen production from biological route using wastewater, which can produce about 1,50,000 liters per day. So along with hydrogen, the process will also generate other co-products which are high in value like fatty acids, polymers as well as microalgae for agriculture purpose. We are looking into uh, establishing sustainable routes for bio-based chemicals, alternative to fossil, and also trying to develop circular economy practices uh, for industry as well as society. So our interest is to establish circular chemistry, which can reduce uh, the environmental burdens and also uh, uh, go towards decarbonization, which is very much required in the sense of climate uh, change. CSIR IICT has played a significant role in the fight against COVID-19 pandemic in several ways. During the COVID time, we have also contributed to making masks using membranes. This mask SAS is having four layers which are having two hydrophobic layers cotton layers on either side it is a washable mask which is very low cost and at the same time it is certified by citra and also it is patented technology and matches n95 in its properties with this mask and it will repel the respiratory droplets quite easily because of the two hydrophobic layers one is made up of a membrane and the other is made up of polypropylene and in this way the mask can be reused and we will not be polluting the environment quickly with use and through masks supplying technology for critical drugs IICT Hyderabad has provided and supplied several critical drugs including Remdesivir, Favipiravir and Tocilizumab which are being used in the treatment of COVID-19 patients. During COVID-19 pandemic, the scientists of the Department of Applied Biology worked on developing relevant animal models of acute respiratory distress syndrome 
a pathological manifestation of COVID-19 to evaluate their potential for drug repurposing. CSIR IICT has a grand futuristic vision to make India a global leader in chemical technology sector and give a push to the green chemistry by exploring alternative and eco-friendly chemicals. Process Engineering and Technology Transfer I feel very satisfied and proud to say that we have been at the heart and soul of this Atmanirbhar Bharat slogan because we have been in this exact work from the last 20 years. So the department has been towards a focus of the translational research. That means from lab to the commercial plant and economically viable indigenous processes. So they come under Make in India. So most of the products that have been transferred to the industry are all import substitutes. can talk about very recent one that is a hydrogen hydrate uh, plant establishment in Gujarat that the hedge so uh, this hydrogen hydrate is a very important chemical that is uh, used as a rocket fuel and also key starting material for uh, APIs crop chemicals and many other ways this is useful chemical and right now we mostly depend on uh, importing in our institute almost like two decades ago this uh, plan was initiated and now recently established uh, that plant and dedicated to the nation by our Honorable Prime Minister Dr. Narendra Modi ji. This is going to save us a lot of uh, foreign exchange, almost I think 400 crores probably it is going to save us. India's mission of becoming a $5 trillion economy is directly related to its continued focus on science and technology and the development of high-tech manufacturing and services for the domestic and global markets. Towards this end, CSIR IICT has been playing an important role in supporting India's chemical technology sector and related industries including MSMEs by developing chemicals and products that help reduce dependence on costly imports. IICT's larger vision for the future is to help India become a global leader in the chemical technology sector and importantly as a research and development hub for green chemistry by developing eco-friendly chemicals and products which are sustainable, safe and non-polluting to help fight the growing challenge of climate change and global warming. <laughs>